Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be learning how to set up a nuclear reactor from Industrial Craft. All right, guys, hopefully you are ready and seen the title and are excited for today's episode because we are going to be pushing our way through Industrial Craft. Um, I went ahead and done all the crafting off camera. If you don't know that, um, I mean, if you don't know this, it takes a lot of off-camera work to get a lot of these videos out um, like building structures such as this wiring everything making sure machines are crafted getting things crafted and especially in this pack itself there's a lot of crafting um, and yeah even I'm, I'm turning my my crafting stations into storage um, but yeah there's there's a lot of crafting a lot of off-camera work um, all of this stuff is currently going on um, we are crafting uh, uranium so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this so I went ahead and made a nuclear reactor. Pretty simple to actually get. Um, it wasn't too complicated. All you need is advanced circuit. We have access to all of this stuff. I went ahead and took the generator that I already made. Luckily my wrench did not break it. So I actually got it back. Um, that's a thing. If you have the electric wrench, which I did not make, um, you can set it to not destroy your blocks. But um, there was a chance that I could have destroyed this generator, but I didn't. I actually got it back, so I was able to use it. Um, these reactor chambers are just lead. So a lot of lead used in making the reactors. Um, you need a CESU and then a low voltage transformer. I went ahead and did a lot of research about how to set this up, how to get, how to, how to further myself in industrial craft. Because uh, to this point, I don't know too much about um, industrial craft. So um, I definitely had to learn a little bit. I would be happy to get not be putting so much fuel in here to be able to power the centrifuge and stuff like that so um, this is going to help out with the nuclear reactor and uh, we're going to set this up today so i need to go back behind this wall I already made a little room back there and we're going to set this up but first i'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, how to how to get these few, these few things um, you need some iron plate put inside a metal former that will get you uh, set to the extruding will get you the fuel rod empty you need six of them for what i'm going to make today and then you need to have your thermal centrifuge processing crushed uranium. You just put that in the macerator or however you plan on getting it. I put it in the macerator. That's how you should get crushed uranium for this thing. And you pull this all out. But first, wait, I almost messed up. Before you do this, because you do not want this stuff in your, uh, your inventory, without the scuba helmet, the hazmat suit, the hazmat suit leggings, and rubber boots. Um, so you want these things in your inventory otherwise you're gonna get a lot of radiation and I mean a lot of time on your radiation so um, I accidentally took this off a couple of minutes ago and uh, like for the split second that I took it off it gave me two minutes of, uh, of the stuff so when you put this back on um, it doesn't damage you but without it yes it will damage you um, as you can see um, it's taking a lot of time to make this and we're running out of power and when you run out of power it gives I mean there's some bad lag that's involved with that um, but the next step is we're gonna make some better uranium so here we go we need enriched uranium nuclear fuel so there you go and as you can see we still need more piles of uranium so I'll be right back after we get all of that. All right, so once that is done, once you have enough in there, uh, you need a solid uh, or a fluid solid canning machine. And uh, that's basically gonna put this stuff in here. So um, we can go ahead and throw those two things in there. It's gonna take some time to process. And it's basically gonna put uh, the enriched uranium nuclear fuel inside the fuel rod. And that's how we're actually going to power our nuclear reactor. Now there are different types of uh, fuel rods. Um, this is the lowest tier, um, but it's gonna work out for us. It's not gonna be that big of a deal, um, but we're gonna need six of them. It's gonna take some time to process. Uh, while, we're, while we're waiting for it to process, there is a few things that I was needing to do. I went ahead and got rid of the uh, this chamber, but we need to change out and put some cobblestone in and replace the, the current setup we have because we're gonna need that cobblestone for conduits and uh, that's gonna come in handy later on so right here we have this dirt it's processing dirt and we can't actually process these so 
We need to take all of this out that we can. Take all of this out and throw cobblestone in. Let's get all of that out. We need it to not be processing these guys, making them dirty anymore. Um, because this guy, the reassembly chamber, now uh, will reassemble ones who are come out of cobblestone. They'll be broken. And so it'll just be reassembled. And uh, it should be in the filter. I'll have to check later on. But we really want um, the uh, cobblestone or the stone dust that comes out of that. So that'll be really helpful here shortly. Um, but we have a few more things that we got to do. Uh, setting up the reactor is not going to be too hard. Um, I'll explain that real shortly. This should be done. Perfect. Let's actually go over here and dump all of our stuff. Um, that dirt should all go away for the most part. Okay. So now, setting up the reactor and making sure this guy gets the power. Um, I need to check. One, two, three. Three blocks up is where that guy sets. So, one, two, three. I'm guessing he's right behind. Nope. He's going to be over here somewhere. Behind this. All right. Thermal centrifuge is right here. Okay. I need to know that because I want that directly hooked up to our CESU. Okay. So that should be fine. All right. Nuclear reactor. I want you, um, I guess, on top of the CESU. So take the CESU. All right. Just like that. And the nuclear reactor can go on top. We're actually going to need a lever while I'm thinking about it. So, a simple stick. I think that that will work. You know what? Let's let's actually check first because I know this will output a redstone signal on its own. So, set this to... Oh, let's go ahead and put our stuff in first. Okay, so, we're going to put all of these down here. Our heat exchangers are actually going to go right here. These will go just as such. And then our component heats will go right here. Now this guy is set up. It's a one cell reactor. And uh, if we set this to redstone behavior, emit if full, emit if partially filled, emit if partially empty. There we go. Emit if partially filled or empty. Yes, that's what I want. So the reactor kicked on. It is now filling with power. And we're looking good. Now I just need to set up this guy. So I should be able to place this here. Uh, this is going to transform our power. And I want to break the wall a little bit. I should have made this a little bit wider. But I'm going to need a gap so I can get that cabling up to that without touching this. Hopefully we have enough cabling. Let's hook our cable up here. Now this is hooked up. We're going to have to open this and do it. set it to step down. So that we don't blow up our machines. Um, because blowing up our machines would not be a good thing. Alright, um, I also need to make sure that this guy is disconnected. Good, it is disconnected. And we can place our stuff back. Okay. Okay, let's line this. This is going to be the non-step down. Alright, and now this should be full of power. And it's actually getting 128 because it is a tier 2, so it's able to accept this kind of power. And then with this, we can go up and over and connect into our supply. Awesome. So this does have some durability. Um, that will slowly run out. We'll just have to refill it when we're done. But now we have power going into this thing, which is so nice. Um, hopefully all of our machines, so we should be able to run multiple machines now. This is for backup power. Um, this guy does not fill up. I think it, like, power needs to hook to the other sides for it to actually get power. Like, if I was to break the torch, there we go, now it fills with power. But see, it does start this as well. Um, I don't know. I may just wait till they these all run out of fuel 
Because once they run out of fuel, it should, like, there it goes. It starts to fill back up again, but it's going to consume fuel for now. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this should work, though. We, uh, this guy definitely should work a lot better now because it's receiving 100. Um, 100, what? What is it? 100 EU a tick? And normally it uses 48 EU a tick. I think that's what they said. But yeah, this is looking good. Everything here is looking pretty good. Um, so far, uh, my storage system is becoming a little bit easier to manage. Um, I would really like to get more of these done up. So, some redstone and copper in that thickened glass. Uh, we're gonna need a bunch of these um, to get done. So, like, thickened glass needs quartz, so we kinda need to go to the nether. Um, but I think I'll do that next episode. I'll worry about some more of this stuff. I just wanted to get this video out here, showing you guys how to set this guy up. Um, I noticed there was a comment saying I need to learn um, industrial craft, and which I have been while I'm at work, listening to YouTube videos, learning as much as I can. Um, Direwolf had some really old YouTube videos um, that kind of went over industrial craft, and to be honest, those were the most helpful. Um, even though they were really old and outdated, they still helped me... Uh, figure out um, how to uh, do that. So um, definitely shout out to Direwolf as always. He is an awesome uh, person. So, uh, well, I think that uh, think that we're about done. So this has been a interesting episode. Um, I've not, I don't normally do tutorial, like full on tutorials, but uh, this is definitely an easy way to get like almost near unlimited nuclear reactor power. And as you can see, it even shuts off when we don't need it. Um, so it'll only kick on when we're using a couple of machines, I think. Um, but this guy, having it hooked to that, this should, these cables carry 128 RF, or 128 EU. Um, but this one's only carrying 32 EU. And I'm pretty sure that this um, CESU cannot directly be connected to these machines. Uh, because if they did, I think they will explode. I did not test that, so um, I did go and do some stuff in my testing world. And uh, yeah, the explosion mechanic would be awful. So I'm glad I tested everything out to make sure that uh, things were as needed to be. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And share it with your friends. That would be greatly appreciated. And you know, as always, thanks for watching.